Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel, Donations Vimo, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I just dropped a Keith Thurman video. It was in response to, it's my reaction to his interview that he did with Fight Hype. And I was thoroughly disappointed. That video is a little bit longer, so I'm gonna make a shorter condensed version and get out a few other thoughts that I didn't get to get out on that longer video. And the link is in the description. Listen to the interview. It's an interview probably no more than four minutes long, probably three minutes and change. And there's so many sound bites, so many questionable things that are being said. It's almost, if you listen to it, it's almost contradictory. He's saying, Keith Thurman saying he was asked about Errol Spence and then he says it's not on his immediate to-do list it's not on his to-do list it's not a high priority but then in the same interview three minute interview he's saying he wants to be the best champion he could be for the fans and it's all about proving himself and I got an O and I'm not afraid to let it go but what you're saying doesn't doesn't really substantiate those claims and at the end of the interview you guys just listen to it. Look at look how many likes versus dislikes are on that particular video too. There was like 79 likes and 270 dislikes. So that that goes to show you what the boxing fans are willing to tolerate and what they believe and what they accept because that's that's a lot of engagement on the negative side. You know what I mean? And it, to me it's just disappointing because it's like this is not the Keith Thurman that we all like if you're a fan of Keith Thurman it's not he was never acting like this he was never acting like almost like a prima donna like something he said that rubbed me the wrong way in this particular interview he said that to fight hype he said um he said fights yeah it's not gonna happen or something like that and he says you have to look at it fights like floyd mayweather how many fights did he put off like the pacquiao fight right and then he says and shane mosley first of all see i'm, I'm so sick of fighters comparing themselves to floyd mayweather you know what I'm saying? You cannot, until you've done what Floyd has done, you're not in the same breath as Floyd Mayweather to even make the comparison. You know what I mean? That's like, that's like me being a green belt and I'm comparing my accomplishments to Bruce Lee. That doesn't make sense. He's, he's way more established. He's way more iconic in that field, etc. You know what I'm saying? So you, I hate when fighters keep talking about, oh, the business side and the A side and stuff. You're not an A side like Floyd was. Floyd came up during his era. He beat everyone that he could possibly beat. And certain fights probably didn't happen. Like some people want to see Paul Williams and Margarito fights and certain fights didn't happen, but that's anybody's career. You know what I mean? Sergio Martinez, there's certain people I wanted to see him fight. Eric Morales versus Juan Manuel Marquez. I wanted to see certain fights like that, but we never got to see it. So you can't, you can't really base your career off of someone else because there I could tell you several differences Floyd being in the game 20 years Floyd beat more champions former world champions and high-ranking people than Keith Thurman has Floyd also got a medal and went to the Olympics Keith Thurman didn't go to the Olympics to my knowledge so you know what I mean so there's a lot of differences and then if you even break down what he's saying it's it's a poor excuse because we all know the Floyd Pacquiao fight the first level of resistance was the drug testing had freddie roach team pacquiao just said we'll take the drug test even though that's not what the commission is saying we have to do we'll do it this is a fat paycheck and we want to beat floyd's ass then there wouldn't have been no issue money wasn't an issue everybody was on board to make the fight but pacquiao said i'm afraid of needles freddie roach said mayweather's not the con commission we'll let the commission do their job things like that so that was the first issue to my knowledge, Keith Thurman and Errol Spence Jr., especially Keith Thurman and Errol Spence, I, I believe they both participated in drug testing in previous fights. So, you know what I mean? I think the Kell Brook was a drug tested fight and Thurman's the WBC, so he has to be, if I'm not mistaken, he should be in the, the clean boxing program. So that right there is different than Pacquiao. 
beyond that, Pacquiao and Mayweather were established anomalies. They were beating everybody, they were looking dominant, and they were selling on pay-per-view. Keith Thurman has not sold on pay-per-view. You know what I mean? He does good numbers on PBC, you know what I mean? CBS and stuff like that. His Sean Porter fights or Danny Garcia or whatever, but he's not, he hasn't become a pay-per-view attraction yet. So your whole comparison is off. And, and I don't agree with that. And then Shane Mosley, that's an even dumber one. And, and I think Thurman is very smart in terms of boxing, the his, history of it. And he he's, reads books and Sun Tzu, Art of War and all this stuff. So I know he's pretty educated. And that one's easy to de debunk because Floyd called out. He I think he had his daughter. I think it was Yaya. He had his daughter in his arm after one of his fights. And he was like, oh, yeah, you know, pretty boy Floyd, he, he just want to fight the best. And that's Kasuzu, Oscar De La Hoya. We can make, we can move up and wait, fight De La Hoya, Sugar Shane Mosley. And he called out all them dudes. Kasuzu, De La Hoya, Shane Mosley. Google it. Don't take my word for it. New media. Research it. And he's like, and that's Shane Mosley. Well, we just want to be the best, fight the best. Right? Shane Mosley responded after his post fight. And he says... My tooth hurts. I need to go see a dentist. My tooth feels loose in regards to fighting Floyd Mayweather. Plus, he said something else like I have a, a family vacation that was already on the books. So the, the Mosley, that's not even a good example of a fight that was, quote unquote, delayed. Besides all of that, which is all factual, you guys can get on YouTube and type everything I'm saying and look it up. Despite all that. Mosley was at a good point because he just beat Granite Chin Antonio Margarito, who people thought he couldn't beat, and he stopped him impressively. And then Floyd fought him. His very next fight was the Floyd Mayweather fight. So, I mean, Floyd fought him still at a dangerous time. You know what I mean? Mosley, probably more, you know what I mean, more of the size than Floyd was at the time, things like that. So, that's not even a good comparison for Keith Thurman. And, and like, this is the thing. It's like, two wrongs don't make a right type of thing so even if you felt floyd stalled out fights I, i'm gonna I'm play devil's advocate even if you felt that floyd stalled certain fights he's gone he's retired he's doing poker games and stuff like that so for me my thing is this be your own man like create your own path your own legacy if somebody it's just like let's say a, a kid let's say your parents used to beat your ass over little stuff and you don't like the way they discipline you now later in life when you become a parent you could choose what what punishments and what they did your parents did to you versus what you want to do to your kids so i i hate when these fighters like canelo and stuff all these people they bash floyd mayweather for being the a-side and picking fights and stuff like that but then they're trying to do it and the reason it looks worse is because canelo lost to floyd mayweather right he hasn't done he hasn't he's accomplished a lot for 26 or 27 i think he's 28 now but he hasn't accomplished what floyd has accomplished and neither has keith thurman so you can't put yourself in that position of of power as if you've done where are your million plus pay-per-view buys you know what i mean so ultimately i feel bad for errol spence jr i i really and truly believe that he's looking to fight the best he wants to fight great quality names and you have a lot of you know that show hoarders you you ha you're starting to have that more and more where a boxer does he, you know i mean has a couple good fights has, has whatever fights that he feels makes them a star and then they become hoarders and then now they want to be super selective because they think that's how the game is played but i'm telling you the fans aren't stupid new media is coming with a vengeance like die hard 3 you know what i mean so it, it's just it's not looking good and the walls are closing in because people want to see great fights you'll get more like okay here's a quick example when canelo vacated his belt for triple g i seen the backlash the comments his instagram filled with chickens and ducks and middle fingers and triple g's name he was ridiculed for that but when Canelo versus Triple G just fought, some people didn't agree with the draw and the Adelaide Bird scorecard, but people got off of Canelo's back because he at least manned up and faced the man and went 12 with them and, you know what I mean, held his own. Didn't get knocked down, didn't, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like that happened. So these fighters have to realize beyond all this A side, B side shit, and I got more belts than you and power playing people, you will get more respect 
more money, more credit in the end if you take those risks. I'm not saying, and I'm realistic, I'm not saying Keith Thurman has to fight a risk like coming off of an injury, go straight away. I don't care who he fights for his tune-up comeback fight. He could fight Josecito Lopez. He could fight David Peralta. I don't care. But you know the fans want, he even admitted in this Fight Hype interview that the fans want to see the Errol Spence. He's like, all oh, y'all keep talking about this Errol Spence. Like it's bothering him. If it's bothering you, just fight him. You, you, you like, it, it's just, it, the whole interview is contradictory. Just listen to it. You're admitting that you know on several occasions everyone wants to see you fight Errol Spence Jr., but every interview you do, you don't have that same energy that you once had. You better not duck me, son, and I got to, oh, I ain't afraid to let it go, and we burning money. What happened to all of that? What happened? You know what I mean? And it's just crazy. Like, what... Errol Spence, and the thing is, I would favor Spence. I've, I've been on the horn where I said I favor Spence to win the fight, but I don't think it's a, I mean, Kell Brook wasn't even a, a gimme fight for Errol Spence. He had to work for it. Kell Brook was doing solid early, right? You know what I mean? And, and that was a, a guy who moved up two divisions and got beat down in the um, stoppage versus Triple G. Kel, Keith Thurman's he's fresher than that. So I think it could be a good fight, which is why I want to see it. So that's why I'm not really feeling these responses. Let me know what you guys think of Keith Thurman's recent interview and his his input regarding the Errol Spence Jr. fight. Not a fan. I, I think the fight should happen. Not saying straight away, but at least have at least fake it in the interview like you really want to fight him. It's just not looking good. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.